Hey everyone, this is Hot Mess and Hot Glue. My name's Lynn. Let's go ahead and have some fun. So we've got five projects today, all of which were made under $5. The first project, I started with these six mini round bowls that you can find at the Dollar Tree. They're in the like party section where like the um, disposable dinnerware and things like that are. I off camera, I took three of them and I did two coats, one, two on the outside and then one on the inside of the bowl using the color Plaster by Waverly. My intention is to have them raised a little bit. So that's what the use of the little square, uh, you know, wood pieces are, which you can also find at the Dollar Tree. Using my Cricut Joy, I went ahead and just cut out the words squeeze the day and my plan is to go is to just stack them on top of each other it's a little bit of a Ray Dunn inspired look obviously these are much smaller than Ray Dunn bowls but that was the part that I liked the most about it Now that I got the words attached, I wanted to add the wood blocks and I found it was a lot easier if you add the wood block to the under portion of the bowl that was going to go on top of the bottom bowl. I'm probably not explaining it right, but seeing it will help it help explain it a little bit better than what I am. Um, trying to kind of get my fingers down into the bowl just wasn't working. So if you were going to do something like this, I would recommend doing it in that fashion. Also, you'll notice I did not paint the very bottoms of the bowls because bare wood will adhere better to a non-painted surface. I had these leftover eggs from Easter and I didn't really know what to do with them, but when I came across them, I realized they could actually look like lemons. So using a styrofoam block just to kind of prop them up, I'm using toothpicks to create like a little bit of a stand because I'm going to be painting these. I'll be using the color Maze by Waverly and I'm just giving each one of these little eggs a single coat. I wanted to have a non-complete coverage on it. I was okay if a little bit of the white foam showed through just because in nature lemons have a very dimensional color to them and I'm not always the best at doing any kind of dimensional color, so I try to fake it till I make it and keep it as easy as possible. So while those eggs are drying, I came across these little wood beads that I got from the Dollar Tree. There was in a pack of four, I wanna say there was yellow, green, red, and blue. And the ribbon that I was just showing you, it's got lemons and blueberries. And I really, really liked the combination of the yellow and blue, I thought that it really complemented each other well. So I took these little um, blue beads and some scrap pieces from the Dollar Tree pick that I'll be using a little bit later on. I just cut the metal wire portion off and now all I'm doing is I'm gluing the blue beads in little bunches of three to kind of give the illusion of little blueberries. Uh, this was extremely easy. What I also did is I made sure to have the whole of the bead, you know, where you typically thread your um, threading in. Um, I had that part hanging, like actually exposed because with blueberries, they have that kind of knob at the top of them where they're connected to the stem. I'm sure it's not called a knob. Here's the, <laughs> the greenery pick that I was using the scraps to. I really liked these flowers, however, in comparison to the size of the eggs, these things are huge. So I just decided to fold them in half and cut smaller versions of the leaves out of the big ones so that I would have a more size appropriate leaf for these uh, lemons. Now, 
I short, it didn't take me very long to realize I could get about two small leaves out of one big leaf. So I just go through and I trim them. Once I get them all trimmed, I then kind of go back through and clean them up a little bit just to make sure I don't have any rough edges on my cutting of the little leaves just to make them look as presentable as possible. Now that the eggs are dry, I'm going to go ahead and remove them from their toothpicks and I'm just kind of arranging them in the little bowl. I really didn't know exactly how I wanted them to look. I didn't know if I wanted to attach each lemon separately or how to approach it. So I'm really just kind of fiddling around with it, just kind of seeing what I think looks good and arranging it. Much as all of us crafters typically do, we got to find that perfect aesthetic on how <laughs> to make everything look. So that's really what I'm doing in this portion here. So as I mentioned before, this is part of a five for five. So we've got all five projects under $5. This is uh, hosted by Missy over at Hey Y'all Let's DIY and Emily from Farm Charm Chic. Both of their channels will be linked in my description box along with the comments below. Now that I feel like I have an idea of how I want this to look, this was really fun. This is kind of where the eggs turned into lemons. And it's just simply by attaching two of the little uh, cut leaves that I made out of the bigger ones. And I just staggered them and then I placed them on the egg. I think on one of them here, I have them on like an extra stem, but that's really not necessary. Uh, I was being really picky about where I wanted everything because it was like once I found out that it looked really good in this one position, that's how I wanted to keep it. So that's when I decided to just go in, put a little bit of hot glue. Now you don't wanna to do too much because as you probably already know, the styrofoam will melt if you put too much hot glue on it because it's hot obviously and the styrofoam just kinda of like, it like bubbles and shrinks up and stuff. Um, so I would say use a very small amount and if you have a low temp gun, that would probably be a good option also. So there they are just kind of stacked. Um, I was extremely pleased with how this turned out. Look how cute they are. I just love them. They look really cute towards the end when I show everything all put together. So let's just keep on moving. We got project number two. So I found this adorable, It's they, they come with a salt and pepper shaker kind of lid to them or they have this solid lid. And so I just had this one because I bought it on accident thinking it had the salt and pepper shaker lid, then I couldn't use it, whatever. I found it in my stash. I know I got it from the Dollar Tree. I wasn't gonna be using the lid, so it didn't matter. I wanted to color the inside of this small mason jar. As you can see, we have a theme of lemons going on. So I tried using the maize color by Waverly and it was it was too muted. It just, it didn't look like lemonade. And so luckily when I was at the Dollar Tree, I had come across this glue that it says it dries in a bright color. So I thought, well, that could be fun. So I just dumped a bunch in there. I kind of swirl it around to give the interior of it a nice coat. And then I did notice that there's two different colors where you can tell where that Waverly chalk paint was, as opposed to the glue that really does have a bright feel. So I'm just mixing those in together to try to get rid of that um, kind of effect of two different colors. At Walmart, I picked these up. Now, I know you can get these at the Dollar Tree. I just happened to be at Walmart and I hadn't even planned on really using them for um, anything that I was gonna be recording. I was actually just gonna send them to my mom because she's doing yellow and blue lemons for her summer decor. So I was just gonna kind of send those off to her to put for her new tier tray that she got. Once I have the, I decided to use the blue instead of the yellow straw, mostly because of the contrast. I cut it down to size and then using a little bit of hot glue on the straw, I attached it to the cup. Now what I also did was I added a layer of just a bunch of like cheaper hot glue that I had lying around uh, to the kind of to the bottom of the jar where the glue was. I did that mostly because I wanted the glue to dry a little bit quicker and I wanted like a sealed off portion because I'm impatient. Then I took my hot glue on a piece of wax paper and I just made kind of like square shapes out of it just to give the illusion of ice. There's probably better looking ways to do this, but this was a really cost effective way. So here you can see you got the little cup and it's got its ice in it. 
So once it was done, I decided to go back in and I did add a decal using my Cricut and I just wrote out lemonade as you can see. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome, welcome. If this is something that you typically like to watch, if you wouldn't mind, consider subscribing and hitting that like, bu like button. I'd love to have you join the channel. The next project we're using these little shot glasses again that you can find in, at the Dollar Tree in the party section. I found this paint and on the picture it shows it being used on almost like ceramic pots. So I thought it would be fun to take this little shot glass because it had the shape of a planter, give it a terracotta look to it. In the video you don't really see, it's a little bit more orange than what I had been wanting to go for. However, in the end, it actually looked really cute. Now, it, even though it was a flat paint, I really wanted to add kind of a dusted pottery look to it. So with very, 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 very little white paint on my uh, paintbrush, I'm just kind of sweeping over it just to give it that dusty pottery look. Using some Dollar Tree greenery stems that I took apart, uh, I've actually used these now in like four projects, which is really nice because you know you pay a dollar for the one greenery. And I cut them down to make sure that they're going to fit into my little planter and then adding just a little bit of hot glue here and there to the stems to kind of keep them in place. I stuck them in, kind of arranged them around. You can also see the little yellow beads that came in that pack with the blue ones. So we're using these as lemons. I literally, when I came up with this, I was so excited. Um, I personally hadn't ever seen this before. And when I found the best greenery out in my stash, I, I really was just excited. I thought this was gonna be super cute. I'm just attaching the beads just all around the greenery just to make it look like a little lemon tree. Now, where that whole part is exposed, on this one, I wanted it that way because I want to take a teeny bit of hot glue and kind of fill it in because lemons have that non-perfect circular shape. So what I'm doing is taking my yellow paint, I'm going to paint over the globs of hot glue and it gives it that, that extra touch to the lemon shape just to make it look a little bit more realistic. This is what it looks like once I've got it all painted and dried. And this is what it looks like. This one, I want to say this one's close to my favorite just because it was kind of out of the box for me. Our fourth one here, during a recent trip to a thrift store, I found this little tray. I had the pencil on there just for size purposes. Now, the tray itself was a dollar. However, Dollar Tree does have little mini wooden trays. I'm just a sucker for buying anything small. Even if I have something at home, if it's itty bitty, I have to own it. It has to be mine. So going back to the ribbon that I had showed you guys before with the lemon and the blueberry, I really liked, again, the color contrast on that. So what I did was I took the ribbon and I cut the edges of it off so that I was removing the wired portion of the ribbon. I didn't want that wire. So just using some small scissors, went through, cut that out. I did a real generic kind of <laughs> measuring here to cut the ribbon strips down to the size that I needed to kind of cover the tray bottom. And then as I was sitting there, I thought, okay, well, maybe this is a, too a little bit too uniform. And I was considering, as you can see here, is taking it apart and kind of piecing together all of the most colorful, most vibrant portions of the ribbon. Um, it actually, honestly, it probably would have been better in the end if I had done this. I think I was just, I don't know, for whatever reason, I just wasn't feeling it. So I decided just to stick with just the strips of ribbon. To attach them, I'm gonna use a little bottle of Mod Podge that also comes from the Dollar Tree. And what's nice about these is, you know, you don't use an entire little bottle for one project. So even though you have to pay the dollar to get it, it does go quite a bit of ways. I use a fairly thick coat on the bottom because for one, I'm going to be putting the ribbon on top of it and then I want that to kind of seep through and give it almost like an immediate little tacky hold to it. Once I've got the paint covered and all of the front part of this tray covered in Mod Podge, 
I take another big old glob of it and I put it on the top and then, then I cover the top portion of the ribbon. This does take a little bit of time to dry. So I set this outside overnight and then the next day it was dried and perfect. This is how that teeny tiny little tray came out. I think it's just adorable. I know I keep saying that, but I will say this is one of those few projects where I actually really like everything that came out of it. I found this really fun desktop ping pong game at the Dollar Tree. I really didn't know what I was going to do with it, but I knew that it had itty bitty parts in it and I'm a sucker for all things itty bitty. And so when I took it out, I was looking at it and the paddles had a little bit of a cheese board shape to it. Didn't know exactly what I was going to do with it. I just knew I had to do something to make this into a mini, like a tear tray cheese board or cutting board, I guess, however you prefer to call it. Um, as I've mentioned several times in my videos, I'm not the best at faux finished painting and I really like to utilize uh, scrapbook paper and contact paper. And the Dollar Tree sells this darker wood grain and they also have a lighter wood grain. I, I have the lighter wood grain somewhere, but for whatever reason, I just couldn't find it. I think I would have preferred to use the lighter one, um, but this one was fine. You could still see the wood grain. So here it is after I have it all wrapped and trimmed. So it looks just kind of like a little wood piece. I found this little spare decal that I had made using the Cricut Joy of just like a lemon cutout. So I decided just to add that. Now it's very, very unfinished. Like it just doesn't look right. It doesn't look natural. So I'm just going to go through and lightly whitewash it. I always tend to start really really light and then I build upon it as I go just to kind of get that desired look. Once I have found the kind of desired whitewash I really just thought it was plain so I found some Dollar Tree lemon ribbon that I had and I just added that to the handle. I went back and forth thinking maybe I should loop the handle so that it it would hang or just add a little bit more detail but I wasn't really liking the way it looked. If I had maybe a thinner ribbon it might have looked better but I just chose to just wrap it around simply. I'm not real good at making bows. I don't use a lot of bows but I bet if I had took the time found some yellow yarn or something and made a tiny bow that probably would have looked really cute. Here is the tray in all of its decor, all living together. I do have some other items on there that I didn't record just because it's part of the whole tiered tray look. Now, not everybody has a tiered tray, so I did want to give you a look of what it was like just to have it on a single layered tray. I honestly really just love the way this turned out. Thank you guys so much. Do not forget, in my comments and my description box will be the link to the playlist that has all of the amazing creators that participated in this challenge today. They are very talented. I encourage you to go check them out and have tons of fun. Please let me know which one was your favorite and drop a little lemon emoji down there to let me know you saw it all. Thanks guys.